Hello guys and welcome back to another Disney Heroes Battle Mode video and in today's video I'm going to be covering a little bit of gameplay with Scar and Maleficent so I'm going to jump straight into the gameplay before I you know just quickly briefly review their characters so so six so basically genius but with a six sent me these characters and I have to give a shout out to this guy he used to be called five stitch but anyway let's jump in so I'm gonna I'm gonna go solo first so he does send me quite a lot of characters so I do like this this guy's really useful he's helped me make videos in the past so I, I want to sort of solo spa with scar Solo spa with Scar, what am I doing? Right, so I need to use someone who won't die, so let's just use uh, Violet. So let's see what happens. So he goes invisible to start off with, which is good because it gives him some free attacks. Look at that. He had five attacks before he was even seen. And then the Raw did 14,000 damage as well. So the fact that he starts off invisible is ridiculous. I mean, this guy has already gotten to level 80. Um, oh, Bogo, sorry. Bogo's the best character used to fight people. So, invisible again there. He gets five hits in. Six hits in, I think. Raw, 3,000 damage. Big Raw silences them. So, just make sure Bogo doesn't die. Another Raw. So Scar is, he seems like he, um, he doesn't have a lot of skills because he doesn't use many. But if we come out and we'll, we'll take a look at the character now, which I thought I might have a shortcut, but we can't. So if we go into Scar, just so I can basically let you guys understand what you were seeing and what was happening. So we, we go into Scar and um, we'll open up his skills. And his first skill, Raw's damaging the enemies and silencing them, which is pretty good. You still added 12,000 damage. And when they're silenced, uh, you can also use that alongside some of the tier skills to do more damage if you were to use Scar. Matter of Pride. Scar bites a cluster enemy dealing 121 damage that does 20% more damage to every HP the enemy the enemy is missing. So the lower HP the enemy has, the more damage he does, which is quite good when you're doing constant attacks. Be prepared. Scar begins combat prowling. So this is good. For 12 seconds, he's invisible. 75% less damage, that's if someone doesn't attack all, I guess. He's untargetable, so that means he can still be hit by moves like Zerg. However, he can't be targeted. And also, if enemies are leveled up, it's less effective, which is standard. Scar gains 35% of damage dealt back as healing. That's just in general. So, I'm, I mean, if you were to upgrade that move um, quite high, you'd be absolutely laughing at how good that is. It would be ridiculous. So that's a quick, very quick bit of gameplay with Scar, as I can't offer you too much apart from sparring sessions, but I know you guys always ask me to do this and always ask for quick um, gameplay videos on people. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this all in one. I'm going to come in and do Maleficent now as well, as, I, as it's not really worth making a separate video, as I can't actually do proper gameplay with them. So now let's go into Maleficent. And put him against Bogo again. So I uh, might she's an even worse character, yeah, because she's um she doesn't got a lot of health. Uh, right, who to use? Moana maybe, or is she gonna be too rubbish? Let's have a look. So you can see that there, that was her special, and her special is the most ridiculous looking special in this game. She has not got a lot of health at all, does she? Let's just fight her against Baymax. So that's, see that's a good stun move. Look how long he was stunned for then. And that's her special. It curses them as well. Then she stuns him again, which does, which actually does DPS as well on the stun. Yeah, it drains off because they're under brambles. So she's actually quite good as well, as you can see. 
Now, if we come in and spar them both, with like, just put Bogo on, whatever. So let's, let's get a look and see what, what happens here. So obviously, straight away, that is a disadvantage with Scar. Because he goes invisible, that allows the other person to be attacked. So, let me go um, Baymax on the attack again, just so uh, we don't die straight away. Oh, let's form a rubbishy team. Here we go. So straight away, the Brambles plus Scar attacking are just literally too much. Look at that. They wiped. So they are quite good characters. I'd say... Uh, I don't really know who's the best new one. I will do a more in-detailed review and first impressions of them. So if we go to Maleficent... He hasn't actually upgraded Maleficent as much as he's upgraded Scar, to be fair to him. Um, we'll have a look at her skills quickly. So, Mr. Transmits of Dragon, Breeze Fire, dealing damage to all enemies in the area, which is ridiculous. This is the one I quite like. Summons form bushes that entangle the enemy with the most HP, stunning them for 6 seconds and doing damage for 6 seconds over time. So, that's tick damage. Oh, okay, I don't think we saw that one. Because all my people are above 21. Uh, curses every 6 seconds when they're damaged. So that's quite good because it, it allows both of her moves to curse. So I hope this has been helpful. This is a quick gameplay, quick overview if the people haven't seen them. Um, I've done one of Hades before. It's on my channel. Make sure to check it out. Anyway guys, make sure to like, subscribe. Join me on Instagram. There'll be a contest running soon on there. Join me on Facebook. I'll see you guys in the next video.